Okay, I have another gimbal review for you. I think I'm saying that right. I reviewed some other products previously. This is their wireless 11AC USB adapter. What it is, is a USB 3.0 802.11AC Wi Fi adapter for your PC, Mac, or Linux. I will, after I unbox it and show it to you and tell you about it, I will try it out on a Windows 8 laptop which doesn't have. AC, it has N, and then uh, I'll include a screenshot of a speedtest.net results uh, without using it and then with using it. I will also double check to make sure it does work on Mac. I can't try Linux really very easily, but I will test it on Mac for you. So let's take a look. Simple packaging that you'd expect to see on a shelf somewhere. Uh, I'll read the back to you, I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, excuse the shadow, uh, that's the camera, it's a bit too close to the camera how I'm filming, so you see the shadow. It says specifications, standard 802.11, B, G, N, A and A, C. USB 2 and 3 interface. G, uh, sorry, C, C, K. D, Q, P, S, K. DB, PSK, BP, SK, QP, SK, and 16 QAM. 64 QAM and 256 QAM modulation schemes. Uh, it does support encryption schemes of WEP, WPA, WPA2 as uh, TKIP or e, um, AES. It requires a PC or Mac with a CPU of 200 megahertz or more, which pretty much everybody's will be these days, memory of 64 megabytes or more, 128 megabytes or more recommended. Everybody should probably will be this uh, these days anyway. Works on Windows XP or higher, including Windows 8, Mac OS, and Linux. You insert this uh, small software CD into your CD-ROM, then it will auto run immediately. Press next button on the wizard, and it will lead you through the driver and utility installation. Now, those small CDs don't work on Mac, so you have to download the driver and software for the Mac um, from their website because they use slot loading DVD drives, and those sort of drives don't like the small CDs. I don't know if you can see in the corner, but it says it's up to 866.7 megabits a second. Now, you might say, well, I thought. 802.11 AC was faster, like a gig and a half, maybe even two gigs. Yes and no. You may be able to get some routers and devices that will do 1.2 gigs, 1.5, maybe even 1.8. But a lot of devices do on the market. So I think I'm right in saying the Apple Extreme uh, Airport Extreme router is 866 or up to, and the motherboard for the PC, the uh, Asus Rampage Extreme 4 Black Edition is the same. It's only then if you go to the new next generation model, the Asus Rampage Extreme 5, that it has extra sort of antennary bits that will get you much faster speeds. But most AC devices are still around the 800 to 900 mark like this. And this is an affordable uh, device that supports 802.11 AC because a lot of these kind of USB devices are around about 30 40 pounds can be more this is 19 to 20 pounds okay it should be about three times faster than 802.11 N being USB 3 instead of 2 it should be about 10 times faster than USB 2 so let's open it up Okay. Okay, inside you get a little small CD that won't won't work in slot loading drives, so you'll have to use over a normal drive or download it software from the website if you're on Mac. A little quick start guide. It doesn't really have much about it, but basically installing the software. And that's on the instructions for Windows for some reason as well. Version 1.0. Inside there's nothing there, just the back and front. OK, 
comes in some protection here. You can take it out. Okay, this is it. It does feel quite light. Very, it does feel very plasticky, although of course it is plastic. It's kind of a piano black, but not quite. The tip of it has blue inside to show that it's USB 3. The first thing, one of the first things I noticed about it is there's no branding. If you look on the device itself, you've got nothing but CEFC marks and the FCC ID, and it says WLAN. 11AC USB adapter 2T2R which is the type of configuration it is to improve speed and that is it there's no sticker with the company name or any sort of embossed name or logo anywhere on it not even a little sticker which kind of makes it seem a bit well a bit cheap for a start even though it is a decent price one it makes it feel even cheaper than it is because you kind of expect some sort of logo on your devices and this could be made by anybody. It doesn't say it on it anywhere at all, and it doesn't even say on the packaging. So thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. And if you could just take a few seconds to subscribe to my channel, it only takes a second, and it helped me out a lot. Thanks.